Alright, the next thing I want to do is to set up the actual lighting system we're going to use in this level. I do want to kind of throw this out though. Setting up lighting requires a lot of time-consuming adjustment to various lights that you place on your level. It's not the kind of thing where you're just going to drop in some lights, maybe change a few settings, walk away, and you're done. There will be a lot of putting in a light, rebuilding to test and see how it looks, changing the settings, rebuilding again. It's kind of a slow process. Now, for the sake of this video, just so we don't have to stop and rebuild every few seconds, I've already got a setup in mind that we're going to just kind of plug in and go with. Though, just keep in mind that on your own, this is generally not how it's going to work. So the first thing I want to do is set up our various emissive lights. So all around the room, we've got these little bulbs, just like we used in the emissive demonstration. I'm going to set all of them up to the exact same settings. So I'm just going to come around here, make sure I select them all. I'm just holding down control and clicking on each one. I know it's kind of dark in here right now. If you'd like, you can switch over to unlit mode. Though I find that working in lit mode, just in this case, makes these light bulbs a little easier to see. It's not too terribly dark in here. And let's grab these guys and this one. So I think that's everybody in this room because we're going to leave the one that's already kind of set all alone. Now if we come in here, it's a lot darker because there's no light seeping in. So we've got two lights by the door. And then let me switch on the lights just for a minute so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, here on the wall with the generators, we've got two lights over here and then two down beneath and just barely get to that one and then over here we have two more and I think that's all of them okay so with those let's go ahead and just switch back to our lit mode for just a moment what I'm gonna do is press F4 and we're gonna set all of these to the same settings we used before so once again expand light mesh actor static light mesh component I'm sorry static mesh component did I say light mesh actor? Anyway, static mesh actor, static mesh component, light mass, light mass settings. I was probably reading three different things at once. Now, use emissive for static lighting, and we're going to set our explosive influence radius to 128. And we'll just go with that. So that sets everybody at once, which is very handy. Now, let's switch back over to unlit mode for just a moment. And we're going to put some settings on these discs up on the ceiling as well. So let's grab you and you... You and you. There's only four of them. Now, let's open up their settings. And we're going to use some very similar settings. First, we'll turn on uh, emissive lighting. We're going to set our radius to 512, which is just a little bit bigger. And we're going to pull down the emissive boost to about 0.5, just because these lights happen to be a little bit bright. And they will really uh, push our level to a very intense yellowish orange like tungsten bulbs if we let them. All right, now that takes care of those. There are a few more, but I am going to do at least one quick build just to see where this is going. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just stop the video here. Save your level, do a build, and when we come back to continue with our emissive lighting, the lighting will already be built. So all I'm going to do off camera is do one quick build. We'll be right back.